What's up ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, welcome back to another episode of my Hungarian Let's Play. Uh, I wanted to start off, I'm not sure you guys even care at all, but I just kind of wanted to start off by saying that, um, you know, I've tried to make kind of, uh, not promises, but commitments, like told you guys that I'd be uploading kind of weekly in the past, and uh, I've never really been able to make good of my, what I would say that I would do. Um, most of the time, something comes up, like the, uh, you know, patch being outdated or something like that, but with that being said, what I'm trying to do here in real life, essentially, is record in uh, a big sitting, I have mentioned that previously, and then I'll have a backlog for kind of the week to upload, so I intend to record like a session each weekend and then upload them in pieces, uh, so depending where I am, um, based on the comments, I'm going to be able to kind of, uh, read and implement your suggestions or anything like that, if you have any that are helpful, but, uh, with that being said, I just uploaded the prelude, and, uh, I, last night, and, uh, I intend, I'm uploading the first episode right now as we speak while I record, but with that being said, the reason I brought that up at all is because what I would really like is to have this Italian region on lockdown. And even though I've recorded enough videos to last me, I'm going to go on a little bit more here. Because for my own peace of mind, uh, I would love to take Italy, Central Italy, and um, survive the coalition, I suppose. Uh, because if I'm unable to do that, then... This playthrough is going to really uh, diverge a little bit from where I intended it to go. Interestingly, this guy's no longer rivaling me, Denmark. Yeah, so, yeah, we're, I just said all that. I hope you guys don't mind to... Um, we were fishing for an inflation reduction visor. So that I feel good about it for the rest of the week. Um, that I uh, kind of had our first goals uh, completed. The way that I intended. And, and that we're set up for a good game. So I was fabricating on uh, Naples. And the intention is to declare on him breaking his alliance with England. But we will have to deal with Aragon. Hopefully Aragon kind of whether it's uh, rebels or something like that. He falls into a bit of uh, more debt and doesn't back up Naples. That would be good. Because I uh, need this province. Speaking of which, one somebody uh, posted on my prelude. Terrain in northern Italy, don't you need Ambrusi? Ambrusi. I don't know how to say that, as usual. Don't know how to pronounce most things. Um, I think you're being confused because they added this to the central Italian area. And they added Rome to... Uh, this area along with Naples. It used to be um, the central Italy used to have Rome instead. Now as far as I can tell, which I'll show you in a second, the uh, provinces required remain the same because it says here at the bottom you need Rome exclusively, nothing to do with areas, and then it says you need central Italy except for that province. Again here, I'll just show that except for that provinces in the empire. So the uh, required provinces actually remain the same. And I appreciate this change because in the past I've owned these three provinces and I did end up stating it up because the development is good enough. But it was always a little bit upsetting that I never had Rome and the state was kind of weakened. Um, now I will be eventually, I'll have these three and uh, I'll get that as well. And uh, it will be a nice cheeky state, and we can take Rome at a later date when we form the Holy Roman Empire. Anyway, enough ranting. Um, for the most part, I was spending my money... Austria declares on Milan. Oh, that was unexpected. Over um, the uh, Swiss Alps. Interesting. Uh, where we last left off, I hit the Diplo Revitation here. So what I'm going to do is actually review whether we can get some votes without actually having Diplo relations, which might be possible. Ah, see, so look at that. Mainz, who we're improving relations with, is really close to voting for us, which means I could break ties with Cologne if I want, 
and switch them out for an Italian, and then we would no longer have to worry about aggressive expansion with that Italian. In fact, he would help us against the coalition. Spending my gold here, looking for an inflation reduction advisor because I want to get on top of that as soon as possible. And, um, yeah, I guess we're going to go in against Naples and Aragon. But in the meantime, we're... Oh, the rebels are spawning here. Let's uh, send some troop over there to protect. Hopefully... No, I was too late. Ah. <sighs> Shoot. I was going to say, hopefully, to take a defensive battle on the hills. God dang it. Okay, uh, let's get military access. At least my troops didn't land there. I would have been really salty if they landed there and I just threw away those, those troops. Go, go, go. Yeah, so I'm going to cancel those relations. We're at 6 out of 6. Yay, yelly red inflation reduction. We got there eventually. We spent about 100 ducats trying to get that, but it's worth it. And I will uh, get this trade advisor when I can. But at the moment, we really... I mean, improved relations is doing work for us because our relations are improving over time with our neighbors, well, with everybody, like in Central Europe, basically. But... um. The Diplo Reputation Advisor would be good as well, for sure, to get these votes. So we're working on our own stability a little bit. Now that we've taken out that Rebel Faction, I can actually turn my Army Maintenance down. Make quite some profit here in these, in these next few years. Um, we got an, our fourth fort. And uh, it's a pretty good location there. It is going to be a border of our nation for a long time, and it's in the hills. So I like that. Uh, we should be doing something with our... Diplomats, though, right? I was thinking if we were to ally a Italian then it would probably be Milan, because Milan looked poised to me to be probably the most powerful northern Italian uh, going into the future. But uh, actually, he is, by the looks of things, getting wrecked by Austria. So, with that being said, we might ally Florence instead. Um, might be the safer move. Now, our military power is really high. That's pretty cool. Um, we've got 15 years, guys, to uh, bring Italy into the Empire. What a, I'm still, like, really enjoying this game. It's fantastic, but like I said... I'm not going to be satisfied until we bring Italy inside the Empire. How How's our relations with Mainz? We're good, man. We're good. We're going to get his vote. So I'm going to start freeing up the slot with uh, Cologne. Oh, god dang it. Cancel the access, you noob. I've been spending our Diplo here, wasting it a couple months. And we can see where the vote stands with Cologne. So right now, we don't have to worry about the 3 versus 3. We are winning, as we are uh, the Emperor. But technically, if Austria pulled Mainz's vote, he would be Emperor, but he's not going to. We're going to get Mainz's vote without even using a Diplo relation, and that's exactly what I wanted. Uh, Florence? Yep. He's got no allies. Why don't we protect him? And uh, when we fought him, he had about 12k, and that's going to improve over time. So, he's, I mean, he's stronger than Clone, let's put it that way. And uh, now we don't have to worry about the Coalition of Florence, and uh, he's actually going to defend us instead if they do declare. So, I feel good about, good about that change of uh, Diplo relations. Apparently, he hates Naples as well. 
Uh, but we can't promise him land. Damn. Maybe if we had favors. We'll probably build favors with him fairly quickly. But yeah, I intend to go in against Naples like ASAP. Oh gosh, speaking of which, England is about to back them up, dude. Oh god. I'm kind of nervous about the, the war with um Naples. My manpower is fairly low, but it has to be done. We just need that province. The thing is, Aragon has to send his units over by sea, and we've got a port now. A fort on a port, is, let's put it that way, to station our navy. So we can just kind of hopefully smash Naples and kind of deal with the Aragonian troops as they uh, come. Uh, yep, it's got to be done. We can do it. Nobody's going to help us, unfortunately. None of our friends are keen to help that that uh, war against Naples. So the Ottomans rivaled us. How much did he take from Venice? He only took two provinces. Nice. I like that because uh, it's probably easier for us to take provinces from Venice than it is the Ottomans. So he didn't take as much as I actually thought he would. Of course, we do have the Hungarian ideas and um, the discipline advisor. Naples' ideas are, are like crap, basically. So I don't know Aragon off the top of my head. What is his tradition? Galley. Okay, we certainly are going to have stronger units. Uh, we've only got two shock, two maneuver generals. But they're not complete garbage, at least. Speaking of generals, we do have 55 army tradition, plenty of military power, and uh, leaders available. I might roll another general, because it could help us with that war for sure. Okay, so rival options are England, Bohemia, Austria, Milan. Bohemia is going to serve us as an excellent ally for the longest time. And we'll probably keep them for the entire duration of the Empire being alive, to be honest. So, not him. I don't think there's any reason to piss off Austria. Uh, if he's friendly and we keep relations up with him, then uh, we could avoid him coalitioning us. He's he's pretty much one of the strongest members of the Empire, even though he's not that strong, you know? So there's no reason to rival him, as far as I can tell. So it's between England and Milan. Um, I was really hoping that Burgundy was a valid rival. I think the smartest decision, guys, is Milan. And the main reason is because I think he's going to become invalid soon. And it will free up that slot. What I could actually do is declare a humiliate rival CB war on him. Um... And show strength on him if he's really vulnerable. That doesn't give us any aggressive expansion. But the truce means that he cannot join the coalition. So that's something we might be able to do. And uh, let's roll a general. <laughs> yes. Albert. What a boss. The foreshock. That's what I'm talking about. That's going to help us in this war. So, we do have access throughout the entire empire, which means we do have access straight in here against Naples. Wait for this to, to finish, I guess. Why not? Because we might sit on it or something like, like that. I could take up to military 7, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, I do kind of need to declare this war, guys. So that England doesn't back them up. Uh, we've definitely got the votes. I've got to make sure we do have the votes, though. Our diplomats should be thrown into anybody who's close to not voting for us. So, Brandenburg is the lowest. And then, uh, Italians. Keep all the Italians happy. Unfortunately, France vassalized Provence. And that's annoying, because, uh, from my experience, very often Provence will join the Empire. Like, in this kind of situation, 
where he's diminished in size, he will just join the Empire if France claims on him or something like that. Uh, so, oh well, what can you do? I'm going to wait a month for my morale to increase, and uh, I'm going to make sure that our relations are looking real good with uh, the rest of the Italians. Yes, let's get uh, Florence to transfer trade power. As he does have significant trade in Genoa. And I'm going to try, if possible, move my trade to Genoa fairly quickly. Ah, okay. Let's add this to the Empire. I might as well state it up. It's going to make us stronger. And it's a bloody good state that we're going to own indefinitely. It's a good spot to throw our clergy in an unaccepted culture, I suppose. Good enough. Uh, yep. We've got to make this work, guys. We've got, we're not in debt or anything, so we've got a lot of, uh, you know, money to throw at this if we, if we really wanted. And uh, if we see here, we're massively outnumbered. That's what I expected. I was hoping some kind of rebels would walk into Aragon's land, but... Ah, here we go. we got to win this. we got to win this. It's obviously we just need the one province, so it's not like we need to fully, fully defeat this guy, you know? We just need to uh, do enough to moralize him. God, that mountain's province is going to be really good for us to own in the future, but at the moment, it's a pain that we got to siege down the mountains. Let's throw our siege general onto there. Our navy we're going to not be really be able to make use of, but I will see if we can blockade it in the meantime. To help this tick further initially. I've got to make sure to pull it back. Try to keep an eye on Aragon if I can. He has to transport troops over. Looks like he's got 12 transports. That's only one of our stacks. Though obviously the issue is that I, I don't have access throughout um the Italy. If he's smart, man, this this war could be really bad. I might have to loan up higher mercs but our mercs of course have um 10 percent increase increased discipline wow improved relations with savoy is not going to happen <laughs> but we could maybe ally him in the future uh gaining 10 more imperial authority is good but our imperial authority gain is pretty bad overall looks like this navy is not really doing anything for us uh, i'll pull it back soon enough I mean, if we have manpower, I'm going to spend it, reinforcing. So, can I walk into Naples? Nope. What if I get access? I still can't, right? Damn it. Oh, crap! No. Uh, I should have pulled my navy back sooner. Oh, well. Rip. How many navy units are we going to lose? We're at 12. Ha ha, we survived. Um, okay, in hindsight, that was obviously a mistake. I'm not going to act like it wasn't a mistake. But in hindsight, um, we were distracting his navy, his transports, and um, he doesn't seem to be walking around at all. So, served well. Our navy did its job, no casualties. Making him waste his time dilly-dallying around while we slowly progress here. So our relations are maxed with Savoy. Let's do the same with Genoa. Obviously, Milan is now our rival, so there's not much we can do about that. But I'm trying to do it in rank of power. Um, mostly just one province mine is remaining. Keep our diplomats busy. Um, I want to make sure our relations are good with Muscovy as well. Yeah, see, they could be better. 
How you doing, Muscovy? Oh. Attack her against the Crimea. What the hell is this border gore? The hell? What the hell is that, Muscovy? He's attacking the Crimea of all things. Like, within like 30 years, he's just like, go, go, go. It's like a player's playing that nation. Um, jeez, man, he's fighting Kazan, Nogai, Crimea. Rizan must be a subject. Good luck, Muscovy. You're my ally, dude. Don't don't do badly. Don't do badly. Aragon still seems to have his transports here. So good. Good, 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 good. He's being a bit of a potato, it looks like. I say as he moves his navy away. Looks like he might be gonna go pick them up. We haven't made good progress here, but at least we are reinforcing. More and more and more and more and more. The looting is... Our economy is looking pretty good at this rate. Okay, we don't need this military power. I'll keep spending the manpower that we have. Okay. Get some relations boost with France for free. That's nice. Now, we've only got four cavalry per stack. I, I'm, I should be hiring cavalry, actually. Our cavalry is what's making us really quite potent. Our forces. Oh no, Valahia went heretic again. You jerk. We should just kill his face. He must have got converted by rebels. I saw rebels when I opened up the game on his land. I reckon sending the troops over. It is what it is. It's fighting in this mountains is, is really a really, really bad spot to be. Dude, I guess we're hiring these troops from Florence. Uh, that makes me feel good, man. Florence is going to help us out like a boss here. Okay. Now, if we take this, we're going to get unbalanced research. It's pretty good, though, and I do like the idea of rushing this down. Um, I think I need to take up ones. We're going to take up ones. We're absolutely killing it right now. 12 diplo per month, and nothing's going to change in that regard for some time. So, we're okay. I guess allying Florence um, was a good decision, as he, he gave us his dudes. I want to see here, if we insult Milan... Nice, 83 power projection. I'm trying to keep that up. Okay. Relations are pretty much maxed all over the show. Keeping an eye on this. Let's top off our relations with Saxony. There's another thing, uh, a bit of an issue, guys, with Pomerania here. Uh, I think Pomerania has what is required to actually form Prussia. And they're almost certainly going to be Protestant when the time comes. So when they form Prussia, because they are not an elector, they will actually leave the empire. Uh, so that's that's not good. That's not good. The fact that they're out there, the empire's expanding self-autonomously is good. But the fact that it's Pomerania is bad. And... Um, I think the best way to resolve that, it has to be resolved one way or another. I don't want to lose all that land. Um, obviously, we can like release a nation from them. In fact, we could release the Teutonic Order, who would be inside the Empire. Hmm. And then feedback what any core that he does have. That's probably the way to do it. But anyway, I was thinking that if an elector gets eliminated, I will make him an elector. And then just like Saxony or Brandenburg, he will not leave when he forms Prussia. Okay, Aragon over on our country. Um, in that case, he's going to go pick up the rest of his troops. Let's go fight him. We've got enough here to deter Naples from attacking with uh, Florence combined. I'm going to see if I can attach his troops. Yep, 
so he's outnumbered there. Let's go wreck Aragon and, and do a bit of a whack-a-mole when he tries to land his troops ashore. We've got, a, obviously, better troops in every way and a better general. He's got zero shock, so if we can catch them out, we should be able to just brutalize these guys and then uh, hopefully do the same thing to the second stack that he's going to go pick up. This could be could be an easy victory at, at this rate. And uh, we love our decisive victories. Zero shock versus our four shock. Oh, you're in trouble, mate. He's got three cavalry. Okay, what is the best use of our military? I could actually increase the legitimacy of our dune. Considering it's so high. So this affects national unrest. Uh, tolerance of true faith, so it's double unrest. It's reputation. Income from vassals. Uh, I obviously would prefer to develop, but it's going up pretty slowly. We're going to go for the development. And I would prefer to develop places that don't have trade goods. that are just simply grain but most of of course most of our flat lands that is the case we got some naval supplies here let's do it here nice and cheap help us out with our manpower which we need is the impa river look at our these troops, dude. Oh, 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 this cheeky guy's going in, so fighting in the mountains. Oh my god, it's so smexy. The stick wipe. The stickity stick wipe. Feels real Judd, man. Real, real Judd. Surely we can win this battle, even with our negative rolls. Yes, sir, we can. Um, oh. Let's move the Florence's troops off instead because he doesn't have the siege. Fantastic. Phew, I was a little bit worried about this, guys, but this is going to be an easy victory. It's going to be an easy victory, I would suggest. And uh, I'm not complaining. We've now got the war goal. We've had the war goal for a little while, actually. Nice, let's take... Accumulate money, that's something we can achieve in time. Um, yeah, so we're going to about to sit on his capital, got ticking war score. Even the force limits are much more comparable now, thanks to Florence. Um, a little bit worried about that, but with Florence giving us the monies, I mean the troops in exchange for monies, and with Aragon having to transfer his troops over here, speaking of which, another 13k is coming. Um, this worked out really nicely. So it's only 13k. Let's see if we can uh, do the same thing against him here. And if that is the case, then I will actually... I'm going to give this to the nobility. If that is the case, I will actually um, start operating... Uh oh, let's come around this way. On fewer troops. So that we're a little bit more wealthy. Now Milan is still at war with two nations and he's uh, still got no allies so I think I am about to declare on him and do a show superiority war which we don't really need the military but of course I'll never say no to free military. Um, no way, he's going to get picked up before we arrive? Nah, he's not. We're good. Now of course these mountains are ours now guys. And this poor guy doesn't even have a general. Uh, say hello to my foreshock general. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> oh, the mighty magia. The cavalry. The cav. Bringing all kinds of pain. 
Uh, guys, I think I'm not gonna do this. This is something I usually do. The prestige is worse, but as the Emperor, we're gonna be busy making prestige, gaining prestige, and uh, we're gaining prestige yearly, even without this. So I think instead, I don't want to spend the 30, 10, and 100 ducats on that, actually. And uh, therefore, I'm not going to. All right, well... That was beautiful. Now, is Florence rivaling Milan at all? No, he's not. No, he's not. Wondering if we can uh, continue to use these troops here against Milan. Uh, is it too cocky to declare the war on Milan? Oh, France is going in against Aragon. GG. GG. Wow, we stack wiped both of his troops, and France is just like, yes, please. All right. GG. That's good. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it while we can. Get our power projection up, to say the least. I should quickly check how many troops he has. Zero. Lol. Free power projection. Feels good, man. Feels real good, man. Um, let's keep a stack near this one uh, to reinforce okay wow this game's going pretty well hey guys so let's look at the fallout for taking this uh naples milan and venice are the only nations who will coalition us and they are the only nations who we have truce with or maybe we have more than that but you know what i mean we have truce with each of them uh so life's life's good life's easy life's breezy we're killing it. We're absolutely killing it. At this rate, uh, the Pope has very poor diplomacy. So the only real question is, can we survive the inevitable coalition that is going to form and maintain, maintain our votes, etc. whilst fully annexing, essentially, the uh, Papal State? And if I had to guess with this kind of diplomacy, I would have to guess yes. Speaking of diplomacy, let's make sure our relations are really high with Austria because he's a big threat to join the coalition. He's probably one of the most powerful nations that could join the coalition. So Milan is reinforcing his troops, but we're going to be just fine, I hope. Milan, uh, Naples has 16k here. If we could, like, white piece Aragon... Doesn't look like it's close. Nice, easy. Florence is too afraid to engage us. Let's continue make more claims on the Serbs. As uh, once we've locked down Italy, I'm going to be much more um, active around the Balkan region and then ultimately trying to actually overcome the Ottomans. This guy wants to take the fight in the mountains. Um, might as well reinforce from here, but there's no real need. He's going to get obliterated. No, he doesn't want to take the fight in the mountains. So we'll just continue to sit on him. Lebec has unlawful territory. Will you return it, Lebec, for one province mine? Oh, jeez, what am I doing? Yes. Yes. Beautiful. Another prince inside the empire. I love it when the empire actually is somewhat cooperative. Makes my life really easy. Yeah, so for those of you who don't know, if you use the Humiliate Rival CB, you can use a, a special piece offer for 100%, uh, which is show strength. And it is essentially the same as Humiliate, which is only 40 war score. This costs 100% war score. Um, but it gains, uh, 20 prestige, and so I say it's the same, I mean it's the same effect as humiliating massive amount of power projection, but it also gives you 20 prestige, and it gives you plus 100 to each monarch point, which in this case as Hungary, um, we're killing it with monarch points, we're doing very well, 
with our power projection up, our advisors, and our ridiculously overpowered leader. But, you know, who's going to say no to Monarch points? The more the better. Divide these two up a little bit, considering I can do it for free. To make sure they're both two province miners instead of well, one province miner remaining. Yeah, man, I, I am hoping that one of the electors does get um, annexed at some point, and I'll I will make Pomerania an elector. That is the best way to resolve that situation. Doing a bit of base racing here with Milan, but um, yeah, if if this or that sieges up, I'm just gonna walk over there. Austria took land from Milan, and uh, that's fine. You can have that. We don't mind. It's it's quite likely that Austria will remain a Catholic, and therefore be quite cooperative to, with us. But I'm I'm not sure. Okay, I guess in the grasslands here, let's take one final fight. And then this guy should be easily peaceable. So we can take his cash, we can take his money, and uh, we can take the province. The question is, aha, uh -huh, he did break his alliance with Aragon when the French attacked. Ar Naples didn't back him up. So his diplomacy is about as bad as it could be. And uh, that's good. Fantastic. So if we see here, you can see that the only central Italy is area is complete. Even though um, we don't have the entire area, because you don't need it. Alright guys, that's going to be where I end the episode. Uh, so stoked. So over the moon. This is going really well. And... Um, Prestige is basically maxed out, which helps us with improved relations over time. Oh, nice. Let's uh, just do throw a diplomat here. That gives us some diplo as a reward. And uh, who knows? I might ally, might ally him, but I doubt it. Either way, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here, guys. It's obviously pretty self-explanatory that I'm going to accumulate these guys up, go defend this province, sit on Milan... And uh, get a truce with Milan, which means no coalition for you. And uh, yeah, get that get that absurd amount of monarch points. Speaking of monarch points, I think I will can't develop that anymore. I might as well develop the place with my temple, my church. But um, I think I will probably boost my legitimacy one time for a hundred. Because uh, legitimacy does help us in a plethora of different ways, and we're literally about to get 100, like as if we're not killing it on Monarch Points already. We're about to get 100 when we peace out Milan. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here, guys. It's pretty self-explanatory. He's got no allies, so this guy's really no threat against us, and uh, we're in good shape. Our truce came up with the Pope. So we have over 10 years to actually allow our Gris expansion to uh, diminish a little bit and uh, go in and fully annex his two remaining provinces, which is a tremendous amount of uh, aggressive expansion. But I, I'm, I'm feeling optimistic that we're doing it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.